Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to do a video that I got an idea from three other people that are friends of mine. They did a collaboration. Uh, it was Natalie the Beauty Diva, Mary Ellen over or after 60, and Carol from the O Carol Show. And they did 17 favorites of 2017. And I really enjoyed it. They are wonderful people, wonderful YouTube channels. I will link them below. Be sure you go over and subscribe to them. Wonderful, uh, just so knowledgeable, beautiful, beautiful ladies. And uh, I really, really think a lot of them. So uh, I will link their channels below. And, um, but anyway, I really liked their answers and it looked like a lot of fun. At the end of the year, it's always nice to look back and, and see the things that you enjoyed for the year and appreciate and it helps you sort of carry things over to the next year, I think. So that's what I did. I went through my videos. I, I looked through old things I had bought or things that had happened to me over the year and uh, it, was, it was fun. I enjoyed looking back. So uh, here are my 17 maybe 18 things of 2017 that are my favorites the first thing is the eclipse we were so fortunate and um, blessed to be able to have the total uh, total eclipse run right through our town so we had three and a half minutes of just the total blackness it was amazing uh, i have never in my life experienced anything like that just the coming together of the of everything so perfectly like they said it would like they predicted was amazing to me and uh, I, I, I've never experienced anything like it and I don't think I ever will again it was amazing so that was just a big highlight for my whole year the second thing was something that I've mentioned you know, a lot so I won't talk about it much but it was my uh, trip to Houston with several other ladies that I got to meet. I had never taken a girl's trip before in my life, and so this this was a new experience for me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I met wonderful women. Uh, I, it was just such a highlight for my year, and such a such an awakening as a as a, a mature woman. I think I don't know how to. I know that sounds dramatic, but. Uh, I had never spent time with a whole group of women, like spending the night. I didn't live in a college dorm. I didn't go away to college or anything like that. So um, I had never had that experience before, except maybe at a slumber party in high school. So it was, it was a lot of fun and just really neat for me. There were two palettes that I really enjoyed this year. The first one was Urban Decay Naked Heat. Beautiful, warm, warm palette. I usually tend to gravitate toward cool colors, so this was a beautiful palette for me to have. Uh, a lot of the same colors, and uh, it was criticized for that, but I just have found I have thoroughly enjoyed it so much and really, really liked it. The second one is my favorite palette of the whole year. Since the day I have bought it several months ago, I have ne not used another palette on my eyes. I have used it every single day that I've worn makeup. It is from Makeup Forever. It is the Lustrous Shadow Palette. This is what it looks like. Stunning, beautiful, beautiful palette. I get every look that I want. It's well worn already, you can see. Love the formula. They, these, these are the first shadows I have found that I have absolutely no fallout with. I can just, but they, but they go on beautifully and they're soft. I don't know how, how they do it, but um, it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing eyeshadow palette. It is limited edition, they are still selling it, and I think I saw that they had it another $10 off for $39, so I'm gonna get me probably two more of these because I have worn them every single day. I, nothing else compares to it. Love this palette. I really wish they would make it a part of their permanent collection. The next thing that I really enjoyed this year was my, was my Pippa bag. Um, I got this, I believe for my birthday, uh, and Doug got it, uh, he signed up for the, I told him that I wanted it and I told him the color that I wanted. And so he signed up for their emails and ended up getting it uh, on sale. So uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful purse. I like it because I have, was suffering from tennis elbow and it really helped to distribute the weight better because it's got a lot of different organizational things in it, which I like, I like organizational things. So there's always a place for everything and it just, I don't know, it's just really well balanced and did a good, good job of helping 
not to make irritate my el elbow. And so I just think it's just so gorgeous. I love it. Named after Pippa Middleton, I believe. So I uh, just love that purse. The next is the next two are jewelry places. The first one is my friend Mary Fritzy Fritzy Glitzy Fritzy. Let me get her name backwards. Uh, and I will link her below. But I own two pairs of threaders, the Melissa's that she named after me. And then these beautiful uh, threaders are just earrings that, that thread through. And you can wear them like this, or you can wear them midway, or you can wear them like that with the bottom hanging down. Or you can thread them through another hole if you have a second ear pierced, a second piercing in your ear. Uh, but these are the Molestins, and they were named after uh, myself and Kristen321, who we uh, monthly do YouTube videos together. And they are just so beautiful. I love these earrings. I love the Melissa earrings. I love threaders. I think they're classic. I think they're elegant. I think that they will go with anything, either dressed up or dressed down, and I have just been so happy with them. They're very, very lightweight and very comfortable. These are earrings that you can just throw in and not even think twice about it. Don't know where, where I got to. In fact, my coloring even looks different. But uh, I think I was talking about the earrings. Yes, I was talking about the beautiful um, Melissa earrings that I wear all the time, as well as my Melissa earrings that I wear all the time. Threaders from Mary Glitzy Fritzy. Another jewelry uh, person is Daniela Palatnik, and I found her on Etsy. She made these earrings, she makes them herself, and she makes very unusual jewelry. Um, very lightweight, very beautiful, very different. I always get compliments on two pair of her earrings, two pair of necklaces that go with them, and I always get compliments on them. And I always, I just wear them a whole lot. I really like them. These and my threaders are my two favorite earrings that I wear. So those are my favorite jewelry pieces in jewelry stores this year. My favorite concealer, and it's a little dirty, I apologize, is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I always have so much trouble with uh, concealers smearing underneath here or making things smear, smear underneath here, especially mascaras and my eyeliner or my eyeshadow that I put underneath my eyes. With this, I've had no trouble whatsoever. I use the shade Light. It's a big doe foot. I use it on the opposite side and just a dot uh, or two really covers up so well. It doesn't crease on me. and. Uh, it really helps to stop any transfer underneath my eyes. So I've been very, very pleased with this concealer. The next I heard about from my friend, Swoozy. I will link her channel below. She's got the best hair, brows, everything. She's gorgeous. But uh, uh, hair, uh, her, I've always admired her eyebrows. And I never thought much about my eyebrows because I've always, they were always real thick and I always just thought, oh, they're so thick and, and everything. But as I got older, they got thinner. So I started filling them in a little bit with the Trish McAvoy. It's an automatic roll-up liner, and the color is natural. And it very is natural. You can just, it's a little tiny, tiny point. You can feather it in, fill it in. I like to fill in at the top a little bit to make a little bit of an arch. And it just really makes it look so natural, and it's got a little spoolie on the other end. So the Trish McAvoy uh, Brow Pencil, very much a favorite. A lipstick that I've just really enjoyed wearing so much, especially with this, uh, the Lustrous Shadow Palette, is this one by Buxom. It is uh, one of my dupes. I did a video on dupes for the Spanish Pink, Tom Ford Spanish Pink and Tom Ford Nude Vanilla, which they no longer carry anymore. <clears throat> but uh, this is just such a beautiful color. It's a beautiful dupe for Spanish Pink for a, you know, a, lot, a lot cheaper. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, but Buxom makes really pretty lipsticks. And I've really enjoyed watching this, it's, uh, watching, I've really enjoyed wearing this this whole year. It's just really been one of my favorites, especially with this eyeshadow. And also from Buxom is my favorite lip gloss. It's White Russian. It's just such a classic. I'm at the end of this one. I've got another waiting. Beautiful. Very, very slight color to it. Gives that little bit of a tingle. Smells good. To me, it's the perfect lip gloss. 
My favorite dupe for the nude vanilla that they don't have anymore is the Sexy Mother Pucker <laughs> Lipstick by Soap and & Glory. And the color is a Nude Edition. And it is a lovely, lovely dupe for Nude Vanille Tom Ford. I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. It is especially beautiful underneath the White Russian. So those are my two top favorite lipsticks this year. The next one is something I found from my friend Carol from the O Carol Show that I mentioned before. It's a little mini refrigerator. A little tiny refrigerator about this big and it sits on my counter in the bathroom. And uh, I keep my, my, uh, I keep my vitamin C serum in it. Always before, I would have to keep the main bottle of vitamin C serum in the refrigerator downstairs and then take out small amounts and keep upstairs. But by the end, it was always getting yellow and getting, you know, it wasn't nice and clear and fresh looking. But with this refrigerator, I just keep all of it upstairs in the bottle as soon as I get it. And it stays looking exactly the same as the day I got it when I get to the last drop. So uh, I'm very grateful to Carol for telling me about that. And I go in, it, it sort of hums a little bit, not not much, but you can sort of hear it. And I don't know, it just feels like, oh, it's keeping, keeping my, my products fresh. I, I like it. And it's just been one of my best purchases this year. So thank you so much, Carol. This is my second time filming this. So I've put a lot of my products away. And one of them is my, my nail polish that I love, but I will show and sort of picture of it. It is from Danny Pro. I had, um, I have been having, oh, I hate to say this, but I've had trouble with nail fungus on my toes. And no matter, I would try all kinds of different nail polishes. I would get a fresh tube. I would treat it. I would put uh, nail polish remover down. I would put alcohol down before I put it. I would spray it with alcohol all the time. Always got a nail fungus. So, you know, in the summertime especially, I wanted to have pretty toenails and, and wanted to wear nail polish. So I did some research and I came across the Danny Pro, D-A-N-I-P-R-O. And I bought a whole bunch of different colors. I've got the dark colors, I've got reds, I've got purples, I've got, um, you know, the whites and the pinks. And I have been so satisfied since then. I have not had a single outbreak of the fungus on my toes. I wore it all summer long and it just not a bit of trouble whatsoever and my toes just look so nice and it's just such a you know I was so embarrassed of my toenails before it was my big toe I was so embarrassed of it before but now after using this Danny Pro polish I'm so grateful that I get to have even when they're not polished they look nice because they don't have this infection on them so that was just such a wonderful thing to discover this year and then this thing that looks like a, a big elephant was just such a great find for me this year. It is a hair bonnet, a hair dryer bonnet. And so what I do uh, is I will put Velcro rollers in my hair and then uh, I will, while I'm starting to put on my makeup, I will put this on my head and then on the other end of the tube, I'll put the blow dryer. And I did a video on it. It looks really funny. Your hair, you know, blows up real high. And so you put your blow dryer, turn your blow dryer on, and just leave it there for a few minutes while you're, you know, putting on your uh, foundation or your eyeshadow or something. Take it, uh, take it off and let it cool down, and then your hair just looks really fluffy when you're done. So I have loved this. I got it at Sally's, and uh, you know I have used it over and over and over again. Just really, really enjoyed it so much. And the next thing is something that just happened last week. It was the video where I had invited people to send in it themselves either singing or playing a musical instrument of a Christmas song. And it was just such a wonderful experience. Um, these women really went out of their comfort zone, as, as did I. But several of them, most of them did not have YouTube channels. Uh, they did not feel comfortable being on camera, but they pushed themselves and they did it anyway. I was so proud. I've gotten so close to these women. Um, it's just, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And the feedback that we got from everyone, uh, they have been reading the comments. They have told me what the comments have meant to them. Uh, I just cannot thank everyone enough for just being so supportive of this. It was sort of a little experiment that I did. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I got very emotional about it. I watched the video several times. 
these women are so talented and they're so brave and um, I really thank them for doing it and I, I thank you all for the wonderful response that you gave them. So uh, it really meant a lot to and brought a lot to my Christmas. So anyway, those are my 17 or 18 uh, favorite things of 2017. I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed new year. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's always nice to get a fresh start, to look back on what has been, but look forward to what is yet to come. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I will see you in 2018. Bye-bye.